Alrighty guys, it's the XCon here with my review of Star Wars Rebels Season 4, Episodes 12 through 13, uh, Wolves in a Door, and A World Between Worlds. So yeah, alright. So, yeah, um, I know, I still haven't done the uh, Rebels Season 1 through 3, then Season 4, Episodes 1 through 9. I meant to do this between this and last week's review, <laughs> and I uh, was uh, not feeling very good at all. Uh, I, I was sick. Uh, so yeah, feeling better now. I will be getting those reviews out next week, or not next week, but uh, this week I will. So yeah. Um. Anyways, starting off with wolves in a door. This episode was okay. Uh, Ezra and the rest of the ghost crew go to the Jedi Temple on Lothal, which is now under Imperial control. Um, I did get a very kind of Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of vibe from this episode. Because, um, you know, like, like they dug out the area and now they're there's like a, uh, you know, it's kind of like the scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark where uh, the Nazis are digging up uh, and, you know, looking for the Ark of the Covenant. And uh, they're digging in the area, but not the exact place where Indy and uh, Sala and their crew do now. Kind of like that, but with, uh, they know where the painting is of the Mortis gods, but Ezra and Sabine know what to do. Or, well, to figure out what to do, they didn't know what to do, but you know. Uh, but yeah, and then they open up a portal. Uh, and I believe at the end of this episode, Ezra goes through the uh, portal. But yeah, anyways, my rating for this episode is an 8.5 out of 10. Probably worse if uh, I didn't get that Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know. I, re I really like that, you know. There's a couple other, uh, you know. Like Indiana Jones references in Star Wars, obviously because they're both from uh, Lucas Films. When uh, I always find cool when there's those kind of references. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, a world between worlds. Uh, this episode was great. Ezra, you know, as I said, goes through this portal that day. Uh unlocked in the last episode and how he's in this world between worlds as it's called which implements time traveling into Star Wars uh, to be honest I kind of hope it's the last time time traveling is in Star Wars but this episode also or in the world, world's um, area. One thing I found cool was the uh, background dialogue. It had stuff from Clone Wars, previous seasons of Rebels, I'm pretty sure. The original trilogy, the prequel trilogy. Uh, even the sequel trilogy in Rogue One. Um, and to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, slip, you know, uh, a very, very faint dialogue from uh, future Star Wars stories, like, for instance, the next episode of Rebels, or uh, Solo, or, hell, even if they start recording lines for the next animated series, maybe even something like that. Um, but anyways, this is going to be a spo spoiler, even though. I, I forgot to mention that, uh, spoilers for you, 
uh, I kind you know, I mentioned spoilers for Wolves in the Door. But there's not any gigantic stuff, but this is pretty gigantic. So, uh, Ezra goes up to one of the portals and sees the fight, what happened at, in the finale of Season 2 between Vader and Ahsoka. And, uh, right when Vader's about to defeat Ahsoka, he, uh, as her pulls her out, out from the, uh, portal. So, yeah. And, uh, then, you know, other stuff happens. Then, the Emperor shows up. And, uh, who, who was voiced by Ian McDermott, the person who played the Emperor in the, uh, Return of the Jedi and the prequel trilogy. And, you know, that, that was great, you know. I'm not gonna, that's all I'm gonna reveal. I don't wanna reveal too, too much. Uh, because it's a good episode. I, I want you to go watch it. If you, if you've already watched it, then you would know. But, uh, yeah, and I hope he shows up for more next week from the, uh, mid-season trailer that was released last month in January. It does seem very likely that he's going to show up for more. Uh, even though it'll probably mean a death of a character. But I, you know, I hope he shows up in the, in the flesh, you know. It's actually him. Or, well, it was actually him in this episode, but he wasn't there, there. But, uh, yeah, uh, this episode was a great episode. I would not say it was as good as Jedi Knight from last week. But it was still a very good episode. My rating is a 9.5 out of 10. So yeah. But anyways, um, this week I will have my Rebels seasons 1 through 3 and the season 4 episodes 1 through 9 review out. Uh, so you know I have that. But, um, and I will be doing next week's finale, series finale, um, which, uh, yeah, sad to see the series go, but, uh, and obviously I will probably have my full season four review out next month, and a full series review out later this year, um, which also, I will mention that in next week's episode also, but yeah, anyways, I've been next gone. And I'll see you guys in the uh, next one.